guys? It's Friday. Woo woo! What? It's Friday. Okay. Yeah. So we just got down at the pool. And what are we gonna do tonight, Lex? Come on, wait. Yeah. Please don't wipe that stuff on me. Okay, anyway, what? I always dunk in and out, like I get in and swim around for a bit, then I get out and read for a bit. It's my favorite thing to do. She met some friends there today, so that was awesome. She had to play around with some kids. This ship is hollow. Hollow? So, yeah. That has been today. But I saw it pop on and um, let you guys know what we're doing for the weekend. I'll bring you guys with us when we go into we're gonna go eat somewhere because there's no cooking being done in the house at 33 degrees outside no ma'am so yeah i'll bring you guys with us once we get going there Whew. all right now i wasn't this hot and sweaty a second ago but i decided to come in here and put my face on again to go out to the movies with alexis <laughs> And I was trying to finagle you guys up so that I could talk to you guys while I get ready. And then I was like, oh my god, I bought that little tripod holder thing for my phone. So I've just been trying to get it to work and set up, which I have. So I'm super happy about it. I think it's going to make things so much better. So um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to jump on and talk a bit about... Um, my allergies and how bad it was the other day so when I had done my dollar store haul um, Jen and Carrie Lynn had pointed out that maybe it was my <laughs> favorite wet and wild really cheap um, eyeliner that might have been messing up my eyes which was horrifying to think about because as I've said many times now, I love, love this eyeliner. Even though nobody else does, I absolutely love it. So anyway, um, I was glad that they had pointed that out because I actually had never thought about it. So I thought, oh shit, maybe it does have something to do with that because it's on my eyes. But um, I think I have officially figured out kind of semi whatever that it is actually not the eyeliner or any of my makeup because um if you have followed me for a bit you'll know that I have recently been diagnosed with being allergic to everything in the world um so yeah but especially chemicals so and I work with chemicals that's what I do for a living so, um, the last, I would say, well, I've been full on in chemicals for the last month, like full on. I was in stripper cause I was stripping floors and then I was waxing the floors. So those are very strong chemicals that I was using. And so then I got to thinking that it probably has something to do with the fact that for eight to nine hours of a day, I am fully immersed in these chemicals in a hot um, building. So for the last two days now, 
Today being the first official no chemicals at all in school. So, um, so yeah, so today, well, the last few days I haven't had anything to do with chemicals because I'm done using the chemicals, it, but there are still chemicals being used by somebody else in the same building as me. So I was trying to keep myself as far away, kind of blocked off for most of the day, to be honest, um, kind of hiding out from where they might be. And today, like I said, there was absolutely no chemicals being used in the building because I don't need to use them anymore for the rest of the summer. And the other person wasn't there today to use them. So I'm not, except for my neck, which I find that when I break out on my neck, as you can see, um, when I do have breakouts on my neck, it takes quite a while for those breakouts to go away. Um, but my eyes have actually cleared up and they weren't bad last night. They're actually not even red now. So I actually think that I was having severe reactions now that I think about it to the chemicals. I'm, a, I'm slow, okay? You would think that would pop right up into my head and I would know, well, do you're with chemicals? But it didn't. So I think it was just the prolonged exposure for of the month of being so immersed with those chemicals. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm going to do about that because um, that's my job and my job is to be around chemicals every day. So trying to get out of it, but we'll see how long I have to torture myself with that. But anyway, the point is that I really don't think it is my um, eyeliner, but thank you girls for pointing that out because I did not think of that. But um, I do think it was because of chemicals, chemicals at work because I'm feeling good and nothing is broke out and there was no chemicals the last few days. So I like that. That makes me happy. So let's see if I can unravel you guys because I get you guys all hooked up. It's like one of those gorilla um, tripods, you know what I mean? Ooh. There we go. Yay! So this is it. This is as good as I'm getting today, folks. I had to put the fan on me. It is so hot here today. Wicked hot, my friends. And like I said, uh, yeah, I just said we're going to see Teen Titans. So, um, it ha it starts at seven. So we're gonna go out and eat. And I'm having a quick uh, mama's drink because it's cold. And everyone wants to see Miss B. Do you want to stand up and show everybody your beautiful outfit, Lex? Stand up. So the outfit that I showed you, we got look at. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> come over here so I can see you. Just get all that. What is that stuff called again? What is that stuff called again? Can't remember. I don't remember. Okay, step back so they can see you. They're waiting. This is our beautiful outfit. Look at this girl. Is she not the cutest thing in the world? Okay, turn around so they can see the back. And then the unicorn on the back. Oh, she's just stunning all the time. Oh, yeah. See it on the inside. Unicorns all around. Okay, we're getting ready to leave. Okay, babe? So, anyway, I just wanted to pop on and give you a little, that little update on um, my allergies. So, I'll talk to you guys once we get probably to the restaurant. I guess you're getting a ball. <laughs> Anybody else like completely obsessed with these? Like I myself always want to get one of these. Good job! Wanna try for Ferdinand again? Yeah, She wants a Ferdinand. Where'd it go? There you go. Okay, just set it with our stuff. Do you want me to try? Go? Didn't go. Try to get that for Dan that's over there. I know. Okay, okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. I usually do it. And if what? I put it over there, I can try to get it in. Try to get this one on the side. Maybe. Uh, I don't think you got it.
wants to get a Ferdinand. Do you want a ball? So, we did not win Ferdinand, but we're still super early for the movie. So we're gonna walk over there to the park that's just across the road here from the theater. So that's where we're gonna head for an hour. Maybe we can get a cake pop. Would you like to get a cake pop? Yeah! Boy. We'll walk up to uh, Starbucks. Yeah! Boy. Yeah, boy! Starting to don't, don't hit Lexi. That's really starting to get old and obnoxious. Uh, okay, run quick. <laughs> okay, we made a quick detour. It, maybe I already mentioned it before. We almost got run over by cars. But anyway, we made a quick detour to the one and only Starbucks. Look away, hubby, if you're watching, because iced coffees aren't on my diet, but it's hot. So, and Miss B, she got water with extra, water ice. extra ice. So she's quite happy with that. And the fact that it has her name on the glass, she likes. Well, one thing I find funny is that when I go. I want to show them my name on it. I want it. Okay. I'll have so, to hold it. So, so it does this thing. And it says Alexis. There it is, Alexis. -E -A -A. So, uh, anyway, one thing I find funny about uh, Cross over here, babe. Uh, Starbucks is that when I go in. So, I ordered years ago a nice coffee from Starbucks, and it was like the. Um, cold brew and it was absolutely disgusting and I've always been scared ever since to order an iced coffee from Starbucks because sometimes I get what I want which is this and then other times they give me the cold brew which is disgusting in my opinion I don't like it so even this confusing when I was like I just want I want one closest to what Tim Hortons gives you so anyway we figured it out it's good I got the I got the good kind so I'm happy we're gonna go over here to the playground which I'll show you guys in a sec and play until it's time for the movie. Hey, I saw a dog. You saw what? A dog. Oh. This is it. This is it. Where's Emma? Oh, we have two ones. Glass. Here's MZ. Oh, you don't close that the door to the hall. Hi, baby girls. Hey, good. Mommy and Daddy. Oh, mommy and Daddy. Mommy and Lexi are home? Oh, these are gorgeous babies. Say, we need outside. We need outside. It's an emergency. Huh? Okay. There you go, babies. All right, guys. We've made it home. She loved it. That's all that matters. But it was painful. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi, baby. Where's Mama? We gone all day. Yes. I know, Emmy. I know. So anyway, we're home now. Oh, I Ow, Emma. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, Bubba. Okay. I know. I know, baby. I know you're so excited. Okay, honey. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. You're gonna scratch me all the pieces. Okay, enough. Sit. Sit. I know, honey. Oh my goodness. This what happens when we go away all day. Okay, Baba. There. Sorry, I'm outside. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm gonna relax, play with the dogs, and that'll be it for us for this evening. So. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.